Hello again, I am Blunty. This is obviously Minecraft. We all recognize it by now. I mean, I am using a texture pack, which makes it look a little crisper and cleaner than regular Minecraft might do, but it is uh, instantly recognizable as Minecraft. This is what Minecraft looks like. And this is Minecraft with a shader pack applied. Some of the more passionate Minecrafters out there will recognize the, this look pretty easily too. And again, I've got a, I've got a special... Uh, texture pack here which is helping sort of make the the iron look a bit more shiny and things like that but you know it, it just the shader packs adds a shader it makes the light act more like real light and things like that and you sort of get reflections and things happening on on shiny surfaces which is pretty cool uh but this is minecraft with a shader pack that takes advantage of path traced global illumination which is a implementation of ray tracing and of course we're all familiar with the ray tracing thing by now because nvidia's latest graphics cards came out and they go oh, hey we got some new hardware on there that does this fancy ray tracing stuff and then like three games used it and everyone went uh, okay this is different this doesn't rely on the rtx graphics cards this is a software implementation of ray tracing which means it will work on any graphics card, well, in theory, any graphics card. AMD cards always have a bit of a problem with shaders in Minecraft for some reason. Um, I have tested this on a GTX 1080 this morning. And it's currently running on my GTX, not my, but Asus's. <laughs> I've got it on loan. 2080 Ti. Um, and the difference between this and a regular shader pack is, like I said, this is ray traced. So instead of just sort of faking how the lighting works, this is actually tracing the path of light so this reflection here remember that first example i showed you where the reflection was a bit iffy and if the thing wasn't on screen it wasn't really reflected and there was a bit of a blank spot on this edge and i'll show you direct side by side comparison in a second uh so you can get a better idea of what's happening there but the point of ray tracing is even stuff that isn't on screen gets reflected properly so uh you can see that little smidge of red right there that's coming from that behind me um, the, the lighting is reflecting properly and realistically in, in, a, in a physics based way off all this stuff around here. It's really, really cool and just adds a, a super big difference in, in how realistic this feels. Now, I will say this is still an experimental shader pack. It's not done yet. It's not released properly yet. You have to actually um, join Sonic Ether's Patreon page. That's who did it, by the way, Sonic Ether, who was also the guy who did the first regular shader pack I showed you here. It's my favorite shader pack, Sonic Ethers, uh, S-E-U-S, uh, Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, they're called. It's always been my favorite shader pack when I'm running shaders, but as you can see here, you can see sort of the, the ray tracing stuff here, the, the sh realistic shadows cast here because the light's pouring through some iron bars up there and everything. It's got real sort of atmospherics and things like that. And it's, oh, it's, oh, it's so nice. So we're going to take a bit of a wander around. I want to show you some stuff that's going on here. Now, uh, unfortunately, if you do own an RTX card, apparently this is not going to be able to use the R RT cores that are in that card to give you some hardware acceleration of this ray tracing stuff going on. Um, it's a limitation of Optifine, apparently. Optifine is just not built to take advantage of that. So it's all software based at the moment, which means if you do own a, an RTX card, you're not going to get full advantage of the speeding up of the ray tracing stuff that's, that's capable there. Um, it's also just working in Minecraft 1.12.2 at the moment. It doesn't uh, support 1.13, the current version. Um, there's no word yet on 1.14, which is the version that's just about to be released that's currently in snapshots. Um, but yeah, Sonic Ether. I've been making shaders for Minecraft for a long time now. It's been my favorite. It's very popular in the Minecraft community, but mate, look at this. Look at this, the, the, this lapis is glow. You can turn the lapis glow off if you like. There's an option for it, but I turned it on for this because just look at the way the light bounces off this and catches on the edge of this and everything like that. It's just, you can do this stuff in, in other texture packs. Actually, let me just flick, flick back to the other, uh, where are we? Video settings, shaders. Let's go back to the non-ray tracing one. Uh, oh, the, the, the stuff doesn't glow there, but you can see it's, it's, it's a lot flatter and the lighting is kind of faked and the reflections are just kind of the screen space reflections, they only reflect what's actually on rendered on screen at the moment. Anything behind me, the game is not rendering, so the light is basically non-existent as far as the game is concerned on these traditional shaders. But if we go back to video setting shaders, go back to Seuss, um, as you can see there, it's reflecting what is actually behind me. So if we come over here, 
I'll show you another example of what's going on here. Oh, there's a funny little glitch there. The torch is sort of bouncing around inside the glass block. So yeah, the glass blocks are actually refracting properly and reflecting properly and things like that. And uh, you can see the, the torch here. If I pop that away, these signs are, you know, they're, they're only lit by atmospherics right now. So if you put a torch down, you can see the glow realistically applied to the signs. And again, if we switch back to, well, not the resource pack. If we switch back to video setting shaders, regular shader. Uh, you can see there, again, the, the light glows sort of around it, but look at this. The sign is also illuminated from the back because this light that the shade is tracking is just going, okay, this light lights up this thing. But again, if we go back to the actual ray tracing shaders, which treats light as real light and traces the rays as it were, you can see there, that's lit up. Back of the sign is still dark. What I'm going to do now, oh, look, I love this too. Look. Look at the uh, stair behind this glass. It's actually being refracted through the glass. It doesn't do that in the regular shader pack. You just see through the glass because the glass is clear. But because these light rays coming from this are being traced, they can refract properly through the glass and accurately through that glass block. It's really cool. Path tracing, uh, like I said, is, is a type, is an application of ray tracing. Actually, where's my notes? I'm going to read you what, the, what Sonic Ether actually wrote about this so I get it right, because he's much smarter than I am when it comes to this graphic stuff. Uh, path tracing is an, is an application of ray tracing where typically many rays are traced to gather more information and render more advanced lighting effects, namely global illumination, instead of tracing one light path for a shadow or reflection. So, yeah, it's it's just, like I said, it's, it's making light work like 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 light is supposed to work and it's just some astonishingly good work from sonic ether this guy is so smart like like i said before his shaders have always been my favorite shaders a lot of other minecraft shaders i mean some of them look really nice and they do some nice tricks with uh the way light is is treated and wet surfaces and reflection things like that but almost every other shader pack i use the light is really really orange like everything's super warm and orange and I hate that. Sonic Ether's pack is one of the only ones I've found that treats light in a much more neutral and, and accurate way from sources that aren't necessarily orange. Although that said, as you can see, the Ray Trace pack is treating light even less warmly than even Sonic Ether's shader pack. All right, so coming back from that comparison, I want to show you some other stuff here. So I've got the time locked right now at sort of sunset, just so we had a consistent uh, time of day for when I was showing you that other stuff. But again, look at these reflections. This is this is properly properly reflected stuff. I love it. Yeah, let me let me take you down here near our pirate ship, and I'll show you a really really clear demonstration of exactly why ray tracing is just a huge game changer all right so uh let's go back to night maybe there we go it'll be clearer so as you can see here we've got the the reflection of my uh lighthouse is the word i'm looking for the reflection of my lighthouse you got the reflection of the lights along the shoreline and the lights along my little train line there and the boat uh here there's a little squiddy um so we can see all that no problems that's you know it, it looks like it should look let me go back to the non ray tracing shaders again, and I'll show you exactly why ray tracing is so important. You see the difference? I mean, aside from the difference in the texture, the, the color of the light, which is just, you know, and I, oh, we've got some weird glitching going on there as well. <laughs> um, can you spot the difference? We're still getting reflections of those lights over there a little bit. Not, not as, not as accurate, but you know, you can still sort of see the, reflection of the hillside and things like that. You don't get the little point lights or anything, uh, or from these, but you do get sort of a reflection of that thing there in the water. You know, it looks pretty accurate, but look, half the half the lighthouse is missing. And look on the uh, left-hand side of my screen there. Half the boat is missing. It only reflects what is actually being rendered in my field of view. It doesn't know about the stuff behind me. That's what ray tracing does. 
So if I look down here, the boat's reflection is just a little smudge. If I look down here, the further down I look, the more of that lighthouse disappears. I have to look up to get it to reflect down at the bottom there. That's what ray tracing does. That's why this is so very cool, because it it shows you the proper real environment. See, look at that. All the lighthouse, no matter how far, I mean, I can, the lighthouse can be completely off screen and it's still reflected there because the, the light is being traced from it. Same with the boat. All of the boat is there, no matter where I am. That, and look, the little point lights are back. All of those, because the light from those is being traced from the source to my eye. Or actually, I think it's done the other way around as far as the game is concerned, but that's the, the point is... Uh, it looks so much more realistic and accurate. I mean, that's a funny thing to say about Minecraft, I know. But it's just another level of... Um, just a, another level of immersion, basically. I, I know, I mean, those of you who have played with Shader Packs know that the weird sort of light glitches you get and the like the, the, the way the shadows work and, and the reflections work where stuff sort of goes missing in reflections, it can break that sense of immersion just a little bit, can't it? Well, with the, the ray tray shed, oh, that's an iron door, I forgot about that. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in this world. <laughs> with with ray tray shaders, the, the, the light works like your brain thinks light should work, and it's just another level of immersion. And even in a game, it's made out of great big sort of meter-long blocks and things like that. Even in a game like this, that immersion can matter. Hello, Blog. Hello, original Blog. I forgot you were made out of wool. You, you were pre-concrete, weren't you? Good thing you never got struck by lightning. <laughs> Where's my Tower of Pimps? Cheap and hard to represent. Look at that thing. Got a frame drop set. Yeah, the um, the performance is uh, not superb because it is a fairly heavyweight kind of thing to run. Even though my 2080 Ti, it, it takes a bit. I'm running 30 to 40 frames a second at 1080p. Uh, it's pretty playable for Minecraft, but yeah. Look at that sand. <gasps> I should have spent more more time in this world before I started making this video. I could show off more stuff and not be surprised by it. Look, sand is actually got little specular shiny bits in it that change as you move around them. Ah. Come here, spider. Where's my sword? <laughs> so yeah, there'll be a link in the description to Sonic Eater's unbelievable Patreon thing. He's got 1,500 patrons already. Twelve twelve thousand dollars a month he's getting from people who that's that's how much that's how much his work is loved in the Minecraft community. That many people are throwing that much cash at him. Uh, to get access to these pre-release ones, you do have to support him for ten dollars a month at the I think it's gold block level, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for this to be production ready. I hope he doesn't take too long to get uh, one point one four shaders ready because that's the world I'm in right now on my new stream world over on Twitch twitchtv blindnet if you're interested. Look at these little bumpy textures. I love this. God, I love this so much. Everything looks so good. Even if I was restricted to 30 frames a second, even if I had to play at 30 frames a second, I would still play with these turned on, even for the stream world, because my, my slime pyramid looks a bit weird, though. That's supposed to be slime blocks right there, by the way. But they go kind of transparent in this in this texture pack, which I wish they had a bit of a green color to them. That's about my only complaint about this combination of texture pack and shaders. The slime blocks go completely transparent, except when they're in the hand. <gasps> Look! They even refract when they're in your hand. Look at the way the, the lines on the wood there are refracting through that slime block that's in my hand. Same thing with the glass block? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. Good work, Sonic Ether, if you, if you wind up watching this video. Champion, champion stuff. I can't, I can't stop just poking around my old world and, and looking at the way things look now. It's pretty cool from up here. Actually, I want to see this at night time. Ah, there we go. See, all of these torches all around the room, even though it's behind me, are reflected in the glass. Same thing with the glowstone that's way back there. Although, the trapdoors aren't reflected. That's interesting. <laughs> Bug report. Nice. I love the way that the, the iron blocks look in this pack too. Well, I better, I, better, I better let you go. I better let you go. It's like a phone call. I better let you go. Should end the phone call. I have things to do. Better let you go. Did your parents ever say that when they're on the phone? I never take phone calls anymore. Better let you go. I just can't stop poking around this world. You know what? Maybe I'll, maybe we should drop into a stream. Just poke around this world for a while. No, actually, I've got too much things to do today. With this thing. My little 
my stupid little lighthouse. We've gone underwater yet? We should go underwater. That's how we're end. Just one more thing. Oh yeah, no swim mechanic in 1.112. <laughs> I was kind of, I can't swim, why am I so slow? Yeah, there's no swim mechanic. That was 1.13. That was the next update. Is everyone still alive at the iron farm? Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. And we'll catch you next time. Yeah, my village is still here. And we'll catch you next time. Uh, do the thing where you subscribe and like and thumb up and go over to the Twitch and follow there. And maybe we'll stream this world again with the shaders on once they're a little more optimized so the uh, computer won't set itself on fire while trying to stream and render this world at the same time.